This is Michael Ware. You're listening to The Morning Five, brought to you in partnership with the That Sounds Fun Network, with the support of the Center for Christianity and Public Life. Today is Thursday, May 11th, 2023. We'll begin with a reading from Scripture. We'll read from Mark 6 today. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things, they asked. What's this wisdom that has been given him? What are these remarkable miracles he is performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. He could not do any miracles there except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. May God bless the reading of his word. Well, welcome to the Morning Five. Thanks for listening. Let's get to the news. First, today, Title 42, a Trump-era policy that was used to uh, expedite the removal of Uh, migrants at the southern border uh, expires Uh, and there are significant uh, concerns and expectations that this is going to result in a a massive wave of migrants uh, seeking to cross illegally into the United States. Government officials are seeking to send uh, the message that migrants should not attempt to cross the border, that there will be uh, repercussions uh, and, and consequences. While states like Texas are significantly ramping up border enforcement with some concerns, significant concerns about uh, how they're doing so. Second item, on Monday, Uh, President Biden and uh, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg announced a new rule from the Department of Transportation that will require airlines to uh, compensate and assist travelers subject to controllable delays for their flights of over three hours. Now, though the proposed rule was announced, it's not yet in effect and could potentially have a, uh, uh, it could be a long time before it's uh, put in place uh, as it has to go through an extensive uh, sort of regulatory process to be enacted. Finally, on Wednesday, a panel of uh, FDA advisors, health advisors for the Food and Drug Administration, voted unanimously uh, to allow for a birth control uh, medication to be sold over the counter. Now, this has been uh, this has long been a policy conversation, uh, and there have been both Republicans and Democrats who have pushed for this, uh, and there have been starts and, and stops uh, with the FDA. This could be another uh, start and stop, uh, but the panel advising this and voting unanimously in favor of it means that the FDA will make a final decision uh, this summer. Though some FDA scientists raise concerns about uh, how the drug will fare in an over-the-counter context as opposed to prescription and whether uh, whether uh, patients, whether consumers will know how to use it, um, on their own by following uh, the instructions. Uh, Those concerns were put aside by the panel uh, that said that the upside was far too too significant and and outweighed whatever uh, downsides there might be. And so again, the FDA will make a final decision on this uh, in the summer. All right, that's the morning five for today. Let's close with prayer. Dear Father, always near us, may your name be treasured and loved. May your rule be completed in us. 
May your will be done here on earth in just the way it is done in heaven. Give us today the things we need today and forgive us our sins and impositions on you as we are forgiving all who in any way offend us. Please don't put us through trials, but deliver us from everything bad because you are the one in charge. You have all the power and the glory too is all yours forever, which is just the way we want it. Thanks for listening. Hope you have a great weekend.